I want to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, and you will definitely agree with me. Today, I want us just to, to pick a two story, kidogo to, and then we'll call it a time. You know, in politics, they, you know, normally refer to the president, that is Dr. William Ruto, as a shrewd politician. When you take him as the politician, of course. Actually, what that means is that um, as a politician, sometimes he can come up with ways that are seemed to be cunning for him to meet the objectives that he is intending. Nimesikia mumemwambia Stephen ya kwamba kulia kushoto mbele na nyuma lazima usimame rais. Hiyo si mbaya. Lakini unajua hata mimi niliambiwa hivyo. na wengine ambao wanani support lakini mwisho nikakuja nikapima nikaona eh wenye kusimama ni wengi lakini wenye kushinda kushinda ni tofauti kusimama ni sawa si namna hiyo kwa hivyo msipatie kalonzo masharti ati lazima usimame Mwambie Kalonzo wewe enda panga na wenzako mpangane namna hiyo namna hiyo alafu tuone Now when you bring him as the president the same same trait can be copy paste, copied and pasted and I want to tell you a secret and you know you like I said you will definitely agree with me Do you see this war that the president started the war with the judiciary which objective is supposed to be met here? Because from where I stand, it is appearing that the president is really targeting to get something out of it, and he is enjoying every bit of it. Very interesting. And by the way, the Kenyan people are a very wonderful people. They, they can see logic, they can see sense, where there is sense. When somebody tried to say we should get rid of uh, the housing fund. That is the reason why, even though very many people are coming against him, for him, he is still adamant on one stand that he made, that he will fight the judiciary to the end and is 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 is, is not going to relent. And uh, by the way, you know, the attention that he's giving to the aspect of the judiciary being corrupt. You know, there is something that we might not be understanding, and it is a game that is playing. Because I noted that, um, you know, yesterday, when he actually mentioned Ahmed Nasir, senior counsel, to have warned him sometimes back that, um, you know, in the judiciary, there are some corrupt judges. So it means that they went into a boardroom or they were having um, a friendly chat with Abin Nasir. Of course, Abin Nasir has been supporting him. So Abin Nasir kind of leaked some secrets to him. You know, when you talk of, you know, malpractices in the judiciary, some people will try to argue that Abin Nasir should not be left behind. You know, he's not supposed to be, you know, made to stand outside the cycle of those who can be First of all, implicated or just attached in the slightest way. And when William Ruto yesterday uniquely or strategically mentioned Abed Nasir as having warned him, and he, he brought out it in, in, in a very, you know, unexpected way, you know, he, on his social media handles, he, <laughs> people are thinking, as the president turned out to be a blogger, you know, said that he, he supports everything by himself, that was meant to achieve certain objective. Because within a twinkle of an eye, we were seeing Abin Nasir running into, uh, you know, media stations. In fact, NTV um, invited him to talk about the issues. I gave an example of a case uh, which uh, the Honorable Paul Mute was. I was involved in the case myself uh, during the time of uh, President Kibaki, I mean, Uhuru. Uhuru had a lot of problems with the Teacher Service Commission. I mean, there were headache. And I thought, you know, the best way to solve the problem was through the courts. So it went to one court, went to another court, went to the Supreme Court. And uh, the end result was that the courts, you know, killed J uh, teachers, not. 
and you know empowered the teacher service commission and uh at one stage uh, we come to know that you know the office of the president facilitated one of the judgments uh, a lot of money was given to the courts and everybody knew that you know uh, but, and i tell guys that the uniqueness of the Uhuru administration, unlike the Moy administration or the Kipaka administration and even the Kutu administration, is that that is one administration where a conscious decision will be made to bribe judges. Of course, I mean, Nasir became, uh, you know, the gem, okay? <laughs> he, he, he was now the one being focused on by the media station. So the moment a president mentions you, you are the darling. You must trend, of course. And the way Ahmed Asir came out to explain or to have the interview, I think that uh, there is something that the president wants to achieve. And so this war against corruption in the judiciary, perhaps William Roy is trying to be cunning, be shrewd with the way he's approaching issues. Such that, you know, the stand that they are taking, the move that they are having with this conversation going on, and the way it is appearing, you know, the end game will be that William Ruto will have his way. That is the first thing. And the people will always know that any outcome that will favor, you know, William Ruto will be seen as an outcome which came in two ways. First of all, maybe the judiciary was threatened and uh, so every, every decision, they must just give the president his way. Or the other way, is that, um, you know, this man who wanted us to believe that the judiciary is corrupt went ahead to do his corrupt dealings in a very, very indirect way, such that, you know, it was just a ride all along. It was just a ride all along. They always say that uh, one of the meanings of that phrase, which is said that um, an ostrich doesn't leave its feather, one of the meaning is that the trait that you have been having, sometimes you can just fabricate issues to appear as though you want to show another picture of you or another side of you, but you are the same, same, okay? I, I think the best one is what they always say in Swahili, msitu ni ole ole na nyani ni wale wale, okay? So, so you, you can just try to figure out something very cunning, something very shrewd that uh, perhaps Dr. Olim Ruto is trying to achieve. And by the way, yesterday, you know, there is also this analysis that we're going to do about now they are threatening Uru Kenyatta. In fact, I saw Kipchumba more comment, not Kipchumba, but um, Kimani Shubwa are saying that they are going to form a commission to investigate the state capture, which was during <laughs> Uru's tenure. You know, that's a serious one. We, we are talking about it in, I think it, the, in, it, it is the next video or so. So everything that is going on, I want us to be very keen. Let's kind of try to watch. You know, th there is a way um, the government can try to dupe people, you know, take our focus away from what is really happening. And there is something very sinister that is being used, um, you know, out of this conversation, out of this move altogether. Or what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? What can you just uh, say <laughs> based on that small leak? L let me hear from you. We are meeting in the next analysis. Today we'll just be um, storing and just be having a slight moment. I'll see you next. Have a great time.